structure for chapter three. Chapter three has to do with strategies for building strong arguments. Finding good reasons for arguments can be one particular challenge that writers face. Our textbook offers a few questions to ask about any particular argument, and these questions can be found on pages 47 and 48 of your Good Reasons textbook. Uh, the first question is, can you argue from definition? And another question is, can you argue from value? Can you argue from consequence? And finally, can you compare and or contrast? Now, answering these questions can help you to find good material that, uh, with which to organize uh, your essay or your argument. Uh, and, and the answers to these questions can lead you to particular organizational structures. Uh, for example, if you ask the question, can you argue from definition and find um, a great deal of material, this can lead you toward a definitional organizational structure. Likewise, if you garner a lot of material from the can you compare or contrast question, that can lead you toward a compare and contrast method or compare and contrast organizational structure. Um, and each of these questions can help you to, to, to structure your, your argument into a dominant type of essay or they can be used alongside of one another in service to another type. For example, even if you have a primarily definitional type of essay or, or kind of essay, you can still use compare and contrast elements within that essay as a smaller portion of it, or you can use um, evaluative elements within that broader definitional organizational structure. Another challenge involves finding supporting evidence and deciding how much is needed. Unfortunately, there is no formula for finding the right amount of supporting evidence. It's going to depend upon several factors. It's going to depend upon your audience, your topic, and your purpose. Uh, occasionally, one piece of compelling evidence is going to be enough. But more often, you're going to need various kinds of supporting evidence uh, to convince your audience. Seldom do writers use too much support. Usually problem areas arise when writers don't use enough supporting information. So don't be worried about have I used too much support. Um, usually that's not a problem.